Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new weekly episode of ICW High Voltage, bringing you the best in-ring action from Italy. This is Alberto Bani. And I am Mario Palumbo. So, here's for you today a particular contest, Mario, as we have a tag team action schedule for one fall. Yes, Alberto. Today we have uh, the Pirates against the Wonder Kids. As we can see here, uh, Doblone, the main captain, is injured because uh, he suffered an injury during a match against Pete Dunne. And what an injury it is, since he will be sidelined for at least four months. Though, he guarantees us that although he won't be competing in the match, Rick Barbabionda will still have a partner to go against the Wonder Kids, Akira and Gravity. Who do you think he's going to be? Well, there's been very much speculation about it, like people have been hinting at Charlie Kid, but I'm not quite sure what Doblone has got up of his sleeves. But what we can definitely understand is that it would be a surprise, a surprise for which the Wonder Kids won't be prepared for it. So, is it gonna be tougher for them? Well, you know, Alberto, it could be either somebody from the past or maybe from the present, but we you know the Wonder Kids, yeah, they might be unexperienced, young, but they are pretty talented and they are fast and one thing we certainly know is that they can face any kind of opponent and here they are Mario making their way to the ring and you can see they are pretty much young but they are not scared of what's coming for them and they are definitely the future of Italian pro wrestling and wrestling in general so if you guys are home you have yet to see any of the matches be prepared because they're gonna be shocked by their talent. Yes, we can see the fans love them. They are ready to get in the ring now. But now, thinking about it, Mario, who's gonna actually be the Blonde's secret partner? I mean, yeah, we've been speculating, we've been talking about like former allies, a new guy, a debut maybe, but yeah, now it's the time and I'm pretty sure we won't make us wait any longer. Okay, now it looks like uh, Doblone is grabbing the mic. Well, he's definitely got the mic at the moment, but it appears like he's more concerned with the crowd at the moment if you can actually say that. Uh, like always, of course. And uh, look at Gravity on the corner. <laughs> well, he's definitely one of the fan favorites at the moment and the crowd is showing them. Uh, no, Rick Barbabionda certainly isn't, <laughs> as we can see. But the fans, uh, it, it looks like they love the Wonder Kids and they don't really like the Pirates. And at the moment, it looks like Doblone is trying to convince the referee. He's actually convinced the referee to go on the road. I think they like him. I think they like him. So, complete chaos at the moment, just for the crowd reaction. And now even the ring announcer, Mario. What's going on in the ring? <laughs> okay, so it appears like Doblone is actually ready. So probably we're going to hear from him.
Oh my god, I can't believe what we are seeing right now. Is he actually Dynamite Joe? Is he actually back? Yeah, if you remember, he was forced to retire from the Blone a few months ago at ICW Cold War. Do you remember that match? Yes, of course I remember that. And as you might have already seen that on previous High Voltage episode, it was like a complete carnage of a match. I would never expect Dynamite Joe to be back in the ring and in the Blone's corner after what he suffered. If I have to be honest, I didn't think he was going to be his partner tonight. But, in all honesty, it is typical of the Blonde. He's done something like that in the past. He forced Charlie Kid to be as part of his crew in the past. Now he's doing the same thing on Dynamite Joe. And I'm pretty sure he's controlling him somehow. But wait a minute! Mario, the match is underway and Gravity was already looking to steal the victory in the first seconds of the match with a close fall. And now I'm going for the sunset flip, but yet again just a near fall. Ooh, and what a bridge from Gravity, but these guys know each other so well. Uh, Rick Barbabionda knows that Gravity is very flexible, he can duck his clothesline with the bridges. And now Gravity takes over control. And the action is spilling very, very quickly at the moment. And here we go with, with the first tag of the evening, with Akira becoming the legal man. And here we have just tag team action from these two young guys. And now a combination of kicks from the Wonder Kids. And Akira is going for the pin. You can totally see that these two guys have been wrestling a lot together. They legitimately know each other so well, they are so in sync. And now here we go, Akira with a nice Karana over Dynamite Joe. And he's definitely taking control of the match. What a match we are having right now, Mario. Uh, yeah, but the fact, Albert, is that the Wonder Kids, they might know Rick Barbabionda pretty well since they had uh, a lot of matches together. But the fact is that they never face uh, Dynamite Joe before. Uh, do you think that Dynamite's experience is going to take over them? Well, it will certainly play a big factor in this match, considering he's like a 10 years old veteran in this sport. But at the moment, the Warner Kids are showing no sign of slowing down, and they are legitimately taking over in this match. Their opponents have yet to actually put any offense in there and now gravity is in complete control being the legal man okay and now as we can see dynamite reversed the irish whip from gravity and uh, now rick barbabionda tried to interfere and uh, it caused gravity to get caught by the power slam from dynamite joe oh and now a strong slap to the chest and what a cheap shot it was from the team of Dynamite Joe and Rick Barbabionda taking advantage of all the momentum Gravity had just to use it against him. And now, as we can see, they are actually taking control and putting some offense in there. Like, oh, is the mean pirate with an actually big shot to the back. Oh, certainly Rick Barbabionda killed the... Uh learn a lot in this match uh, uh, since uh, he has Dynamite Joe in his corner uh, 10 year veteran as we already said yeah but let's talk about Rick Barbabionda for a second like he used to play under the ring name of Ricky Rastelli up until like one year ago and then what happened Mario it happened that Doblone took him under his wing made him a pirate and here we are. Now, we might condemn their methods, but what I can actually say is that ever since he's been under the wing of the Blone, Rick Barbabionda turned into like a more serious wrestler and he's actually been winning a lot since then. And look at them now, look at them now, using the referee, distracting him just to pull more offense on gravity in the corner. That's just being mean. What do you think, Mario? 
Yeah, Alberto, as you already said, uh, Rick Barbabionda used to wrestle under the name of Ricky Rastelli. He used to have fun in the ring, but now, since he joined uh, Doblone, uh, he decided to join actually the dark side. And the only thing uh, he cares about uh, is winning and uh, destroying people in the ring. But let's focus for a second on the action in the ring with Dynamite Joe actually nailing a back elbow straight to the face of gravity. You can actually hear the crowd support them and you know they are fan favorites but gravity desperately needs, desperately needs to reach for his tag team partner. He deserves to breathe more and he won't be able to get any offense in if he keeps getting beat up. As we have uh, just seen uh... Dynamite Joe has nailed a big drop kick to Gravity's nose. Uh, he might have broken that. Well, it's definitely dangerous for Gravity to keep staying in the ring. He really needs to reach for the tag, but at the moment it doesn't look like that. With Rick Papabunda actually taking him into the ground, into a slipper roll, and going for a quick finish at the moment. Is he gonna tap? Oh, I don't think so. These guys, as we already said, they are young, but they are talented, so I don't think that uh, Sliberal is going to keep them down. And look at Gravity, he's fighting back, and he's ducking the clothesline, he ducks the back elbow, maybe he's going, oh yeah, he's going for a scissor takedown. This might be the opening for him. It definitely is an opening. They are both down, both down, but oh my god, here comes Dynamite Joe with another cheap shot to Akira, preventing him from getting the tag. And now, look at the referee trying to get both of them outside of the ring, but the situation is definitely not under his control. Oh, and they're going for a tag team maneuver, but Gravity is fighting back. He tries this, oh, he's countering it, oh yeah, it went with a suplex. But now Dynamite Joe, and he kicks him away. And he pushes, pushes, and here he comes. He comes Akira with a hot tag, and now straight with a perfect executive diving crossbody over Dynamite Joe. That's what he needed. That's what he needs to do. Now he needs to stick to the action and keep pushing, keep pushing Dynamite Joe until he actually nails him down. Oh my god, what a stiff close run into the corner. Did you see how high that crossbody was? It was definitely pretty much high. Akira is pretty much well known for being a high flyer and high flying sensation across Italy. And now he just landed a perfectly executed missile dropkick, but just for a two count. Okay, now Akira asking for the support from the fans. Now with an uppercut. Yeah, these guys might be high flyers, but they are also pretty good strikers, as we just seen. You can definitely see the animosity in between these two tag teams. Although Dynamite Joe is a new addition between the Wonder Kids and the Pirates, there's pretty much history going between them for the last six months, possibly even more. But look at these two tag teaming Akira. I think they never tag teamed before, Dynamite Joe and Rick Papabionda, but they're showing definitely in sync. Oh my god, with a crossbow, but no, here it comes Gravity saving his partner. Okay, now Dynamite Joe is tagging Barbabionda in. Ooh, and now Barbabionda, ooh, a big knee to Gravity's gut. He's whipping him to the ropes. Ducks the clothesline, ooh, and what a handspring from Gravity. And he nails him with a dropkick. And as we just saw, we can say that Gravity certainly is a former gymnast. But now he's focusing on Dynamite Joe. Duck in the clothesline, a big Joe Breaker with a split, and now Akira goes with a face buster. And at the same time, Gravity is reaching for the top, he's calling the crowd, what's coming next? Oh my god, that's an insane elbow drop from Gravity, actually nailing 100% over Dynamite Joe chest. And that's it, that's what they needed, that's what they needed, they need to capitalize on that, they need to and now is Akira going for a flight just outside the ring. This match is just complete chaos at the moment, Mario. I don't know who's legal, I don't know who's actually in the ring, but I'm just too excited at the moment and I just want to see how is it gonna end.
And now as we can see Akira just threw Barbabi under in the ring and gravity is going to end this. But ooh, a cheap shot. And I think uh, Barbabi is taking over him. Oh, here goes for the seed up power bomb he's known for. He's been his finisher for a quite few time, but here comes a gravity with a nice reversal. One, two, near four for him. That was almost it, but still not enough. Ooh, and what a big kick and high kick from Gravity. Ooh, I think this is over. This was the seat that Palma was talking about. One, two, three. And here comes Barba Bionda with the pinfall. And I can't believe the Pirates actually won the match. I think Gravity is over him. Barba you Bionda's so? shoulders are down on the mat. Well, uh, actually, Doblone is in the ring. Raising with Barbie on the sand, so I think, I think Gravity that's it. was raising his arm, so I don't actually know who won this match. That's quite confusing. The referee is confused too, and they're actually arguing about the result. So, oh, and look at Dynamite Joe, who's actually won the match. Rick Barbie still doesn't know anything, and he's completely thinking he's won the match, but the referee. He's arguing about it. Oh, I think he just said that the shoulders of both the guys were down. And now Gravity is grabbing the mic. No! What a controversial finish for this episode of High Voltage. A double pinfall which apparently is leading, is leading to a rematch next week. But with this being said, Mario and Alberto just say hi and we give you a date for the next week always on YouTube.